if you're aware of the Boundary Waters area, you know that Voyager National Park is very close to the Boundary Waters. And one thing that's different compared to the Boundary Waters and the Voyagers National Park is that they do permit motorized vehicles, boats and pontoons and those kinds of things within that area. So if you are canoeing in the Boundary Waters and you get a little closer to the National Park there, boats can come flying by you. It's very frustrating. You know, technically they're supposed to be within a pretty low limit as mileage and stuff, but still they seem to not always obey those rules and they come flying by you. And that's very frustrating. Within the Boundary Waters themselves, you can't actually have any motorized boats, which is great. We love that part. But there is that area kind of right at the, at the boundaries there where we can do motorized vehicles, and sometimes it's very frustrating. And there's been a lot of controversy. Some people are claiming, we have rights to use motorized vehicles in this lake. We have, you know, we need this, we need that. And other people are saying, no, this is a beautiful national area. We need to preserve it. Why? Why have motorized vehicles up here? We have so many other areas where you can use the motors, motorized vehicles, or, you know, you can use your four-wheelers down in the southern areas. You can use uh, the, the boats with the motors on all these other lakes and snowmobiles. We want the Boundary Waters area to be a quiet, preserved area where those motorized vehicles won't disturb nature. The, the biggest frustration, too, is the noise level of, of the fact that motorized vehicles are around there. There have been many debates. In fact, there was a vote not too long ago where they voted that in the Boundary Waters themselves they were not going to permit motorized vehicles of any kind. So that's great. But still, I'm going to explain the fact that there has been a lot of frustration with this, on, and it's been ongoing. There's one area in the Boundary Waters called Trails End, and it's kind of right at the end of the Boundary Waters. It's not actually inside the Boundary Waters. It's kind of right where you're coming out. And so it's kind of the cutoff point where motorized vehicles are allowed and where motorized vehicles are not allowed. And I remember we were sitting there, my husband and I, and all of a sudden my husband began to hear music. It was this guitar. It wasn't related to a motor per se, but it's the whole policy that's a setup as far as the noise levels and things. And we were there to enjoy the quiet and tranquility of this area, and all of a sudden we started hearing this music. Technically, you know, we thought this is going to be a great place that we can really enjoy the quiet in nature, and a place for us to relax and escape from the everyday noises of the world. Um, and it's something that we've cherished. And now there's even more debate because everything is getting busier and now they're talking about should they ban, you know, four-wheelers, should they ban snowmobiles, what should they ban, what should they allow. So we're hoping that in the very new future that things will not be allowed, motorized vehicles will not be allowed up in that area because really that destroys the nature, the animals get scared, the, the, the wildlife in general doesn't like all of that racket and all of those things that are out there and it really destroys the feeling of the area. I mean, it's kind of like we wanted to live here and be part of this and, and really enjoy what nature had to offer and not have to worry about the motorized vehicles disturbing our peace.